Hello. Our next machine is the oscillating spindle sander. And the purpose of the oscillating spindle sander would be to sand an area like this that we have cut out on the bandsaw, as I stated earlier, anything that's in a regular shape. And now I can sand it to my pencil lines in which I have cut to. When you choose and you're going to use the oscillating spindle sander, you want to make sure that you get yourself set up with a spindle that will work for whichever contour you are trying to sand. And so you will take this, it's got a threaded end, you'll take it, you'll put it in, and you are just going to tighten it by hand. Then you are going to take the proper table insert. As you can see, this one would be too small. So I am going to take the proper table insert and I am going to set it in the machine so I can't get my hands caught in there. Make sure that you have your abrasive cleaner. And then on this machine, I will turn it on and then I will slowly work from my left then to my right to get my machine marks all cleaned and to take it to my pencil line. To start the machine, I pull the knob button out and then I just slowly, don't put a lot of pressure, if you put too much pressure on this machine, what will happen is, is you will tighten the spindle so tight it becomes very difficult to get out. So we are just going to take our time, we are going to just go around and sand our regular shape until we take it all the way to our pencil lines and we get rid of all of our machine marks. Periodically, make sure you take your abrasive cleaner and you keep it clean so that then the machine will work to its highest capacity as we are going through and using it. Once you have made it to your pencil lines and you have gotten rid of all of those machine marks, make sure that you clean it when you are all done. Turn the machine off. Clean up the machine after you are all done and there is how you safely and accurately use the oscillating spindle sander.